Don't sit around feeling sorry for yourself or feeling afraid or feeling worried. Start planning, start preparing, start executing, get creative, get innovative. Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks so much for clicking to watch this video. It really means the world to me. I'm Duke Lamastra, and I simply wanna to say to you that in the world that we're living in right now today, with all the chaos that's going on, the problems that are going on, the people that are living in fear, the groceries not being able to stay on the shelves, you can't find toilet paper, you can't find what you need, we're concerned about this coronavirus and we're concerned about getting sick and our family members getting sick and people that we know and how long is it gonna last and what if this runs out and what if I can't go back to work and what if I you know, lose my home or go bankrupt? You know, All these things that are going on that, that so many people are dealing with right now and I understand that those are real concerns and I'm not belittling any of it so please don't get that idea but I just simply wanna say that Whenever we are faced with a situation like the one that we're in right now, we need to be able to open our eyes, to elevate our perspective, to see beyond, to see the opportunity that's there. And before you get ahead of me, I'm not talking about taking advantage of people. I'm not talking about leveraging a situation in a skeevy kind of a way. I'm not talking about anything like that. I'm not talking about getting over on people. I'm not talking about using a bad situation to promote yourself. I'm not talking about that. I'm simply saying that we need to recognize that when we are faced with obstacles, when we're faced with challenge, and especially when it's on a social disturbance kind of a level where everybody is running this way, we need to be able to see beyond the fear, beyond the trouble and the distress, and maybe start moving in the other direction. Because when you hold on to the hope that you have inside of you, and as a born again child of God, son or daughter of God, you have hope inside of you because Christ is your hope. And so many people around you do not have that hope that you know. That hope is real, that hope belongs to you, but you have an opportunity to share the hope that is inside of you with the world around you. And when you can find creative ways to serve people, and whether this is ministry, whether this is one-on-one -on -one with people, or whether this is a business idea or whatever, I'm telling you, whatever you have in your heart, there is so much opportunity right now to take it and to execute on the plans and the promises of God. Look, if we just go back a few months, I'm sure that you had some ideas and some goals and some things that you wanted to accomplish for 2020 and you set New Year's resolutions or you set goals for yourself or whatever the case was and maybe you've gotten a little bit distracted on that and maybe now you're sitting at home because you're not working because they canceled your job or whatever the case is and you can't go to the movies and you can't do different things because everything is closed and everything's shut down and so many people are in that situation, in that environment and they're sitting around just binge watching Netflix feeling sorry for themselves wondering like what's going to happen and wondering what's going to how long they're going to be out of work and are they going to have enough money and are they going to get through and are they going to run out of food and are they going to survive and all this kind of stuff listen this is your opportunity to execute on those things you have more time on your hands right now now I know that doesn't apply to everybody but if that's you if you find yourself in that situation you have an opportunity right now to take those goals to take those dreams to take those visions and to begin to execute get to work start doing things don't sit around feeling sorry for yourself or feeling afraid or feeling worried start planning start preparing start executing get creative get innovative that's a good word it's time to innovate right now the people that recognize that there's so much opportunity in the midst of the situation that they're in because so many other people are just giving up and running scared. The people that recognize that there's opportunity, that it's not the end of the world, that they actually are gonna come through this, that it's not the apocalypse, that they're actually going to survive, that they're actually, people are gonna come out of this circumstance and what we're going through right now, they're gonna come out of it better than ever before. And, and again, I'm not talking about making money off of a tragedy or anything like that because I recognize, I'm sorry for that noise, I'm outside, as you can tell, that was a motorcycle. <laughs> but I'm not talking about anything like that. I'm simply talking about you recognizing the opportunity that's in front of you. Let creativity flow, let innovation flow. Get serious about hearing from God in this season, asking questions like, okay God, 
what can I do with this free time? Or, okay, God, what steps can I take toward that dream? What steps can I take toward that vision? What can I do? Like maybe you're a business owner, a small business owner, or you have a service industry where you're self-employed or something like that. And it's kind of up to you in this season, whether or not you work or not. That's the situation that I'm in. And so it's kind of up to you, whether or not you work or how much you work or how you see your clients and all that kind of stuff. Look, get creative with it, get innovative with it, but talk to God about it. Let him give you, the Bible says in Proverbs that he gives us witty invention. He gives us heavenly ideas from the godly ideas. He gives us ideas. He will show you what to do. But listen, don't get caught up in the fear. Don't get caught up in the confusion. Don't sit around feeling sorry for yourself. Go after the plan, the vision, the calling of God for your life in this season like never before.